Have you ever wondered what exactly the difference is between the phase and neutral wires in an electrical system? If you have ever dealt with electrical circuits or installations, you may have come across these terms, but it is often easy to confuse their functions. Understanding this distinction is essential to ensure the safety and efficiency of any electrical system, especially in residential installations. Lead in Tray 9. Let's take a look at what it is and why it is important to know it. In a typical home electrical system, you will encounter three main types of conductors. The phase, the neutral, and the protective or earthing conductor. The phase, usually marked with the letter L, is the active conductor. Its main job is to carry the electric current from the power source to the load, such as a light bulb. This current typically carries a voltage of about 230 volts relative to earth during normal operation. Phase wire can have different colors depending on the specific installation. Usually colors such as brown, black, or gray are used for phase wires. However, depending on the installation needs or the need to differentiate the wires by function, colors such as white, orange, or red can also be used. It is essential, however, that these colors do not overlap with those of the neutral or earth to avoid confusion. The neutral wire, marked with the letter N, plays an equally important role, but works differently. It serves as a return for the electrical current that reaches the load via the phase conductor. While the phase carries the current to the appliance, the neutral carries it back. Although it normally carries a low voltage relative to earth, it is important to remember that the neutral can carry a dangerous voltage under certain conditions, which is why it is also considered an active conductor. The neutral wire must be colored blue, although it can sometimes appear in different shades of blue. It is essential not to confuse this color with that of the protective conductor, which we will see shortly. The protective conductor, marked PIE for protective earth, or this symbol, is a safety feature in electrical systems. Its job is to connect the metal parts of electrical appliances to the earth, ensuring that any electrical faults, such as a short circuit, do not pose a danger to users. This conductor is always yellow-green, a distinctive color to avoid any confusion with other wires. When choosing a cable for an electrical system, two important factors come into play, voltage drop and cable overheating. Voltage drop refers to the reduction in voltage that occurs as electricity travels along a wire. If the voltage drop is too high, it can cause appliances such as washing machines, televisions, and electronic devices to malfunction. Another problem is overheating. When a cable overheats, the insulation material can degrade, causing leakage currents or even a short circuit over time. This brings us to the concept of cable capacity. Cable capacity defines the maximum amount of current a cable can carry without damaging the insulation. This is essential to ensure the longevity and safety of the system. Insulation materials such as rubber, PVC, or polyethylene have specific temperature limits, and exceeding these limits can significantly reduce the life of the cable. For example, rubber insulation can withstand up to sesanta degrees, PVC up to setanta degrees, and polyethylene up to novanta degrees. If these temperatures are exceeded, the performance and safety of the cable will be affected. In addition to the cable and or tray 9 as capacity, the installation environment also plays a major role. Whether the cable is installed underground or outdoors will affect its ability to dissipate heat. Environmental factors such as these should always be considered when selecting and installing cables. With that said, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. Thanks and until next time.